Hundreds of thousands took to the streets of New York today, demonstrating for action on climate change. It was the largest rally, but certainly not the only one. Similar events were held in more than 160 countries. With a U.N. summit this week, the message to world leaders was clear. Act now. Here's NBC's Ann Thompson. Some 300,000 people jammed the streets of New York's west side to demand action on climate change. On a hot, muggy day after the Earth's warmest summer on record. For many marchers, this was a family affair. I think it's the most important thing when I think about the future of my children that's kind of bleak. Lisa Hoyos, founder of Climate Parents, brought her two sons from San Francisco. She wants to move away from coal, oil and gas, the fossil fuels driving climate change. 100% clean energy, safe energy, what we like to call kids safe, climate safe energy. Tracy Summers and her family live on Maine's coast where they can see the effects of a warming ocean. We see more jellyfish now and see invasions of green crabs that are coming up into our um, bays. Near Morgantown, West Virginia, Lindia Ervalina says getting natural gas out of the ground by fracking is destroying her community. What is the message that you want to send here in New York? I want to send a message, first of all, they consider uh, West Virginia a sacrifice zone. And we are not going down without a fight. We don't want to be anybody's sacrifice zone. This was the marquee event in a worldwide day of action. From Melbourne to Berlin to London, people took to the streets. Rio bathed Christ the Redeemer in a green light. In New York, there were bold-faced names. Former Vice President Al Gore, Mayor Bill de Blasio, and UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. There is no plan B because we do not have plan B. The message of this march is aimed directly at world leaders who will meet later this week at the United Nations and then again in Paris next year. That's when countries will try again to reach a global commitment to cut greenhouse gases and stave off what scientists warn are the potentially catastrophic impacts of climate change. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.